For this project, we will be focusing on the element shape. You will need your elements booklet and tracer, pencil, and your choice of media, possibly scissors, glue, or a permanent marker. Let's talk about shapes. There are two different kinds of shapes, geometric shapes and organic shapes. Geometric shapes on the left can be measured and drawn out precisely. Organic shapes are basically anything that's not geometric. It can be the shape of a flower, it can be the shape of a tree, it can take the shape of anything. The most important thing for you to know about shapes is that they are flat and only two-dimensional. Using only 2D shapes, recreate your silhouette. You can use geometric and organic shapes to create an interesting composition using only shapes. Some students find it easier to actually cut out shapes with construction paper and form their silhouette like a puzzle, while others prefer to illustrate it. It is okay for your panel to look abstract. Open up your book to the fourth panel, and then place your image and trace it. The image I traced is only to help me get the shapes in the right spot. I'm going to look at this and see what two-dimensional geometric shapes I can see inside of my hummingbird. To make my hummingbird stand out from the background that I will later add, I decided to go in and make each shape black. Now I'm going to go back and add shapes to the background. I chose green, yellow, and red markers to color into my shapes, and I'll just alternate between the three. Remember that anytime you are coloring with anything, markers, crayons, colored pencils, to color in the same direction. That is what professionals do when they are coloring their pictures. Don't forget to label the element you used on the back. Here's a second example for you to watch. A third example for you to get ideas from. For this example, I just found scrap papers that I had lying around the house in different colors and I'm going to cut out and place the geometric shapes and fill in my background. Then I will do the same to make the cupcake.
This cupcake uses more organic shapes than it does geometric. And the final example for shape. After tracing my image, I just started turning each section into a different geometric shape. And then in the background, I did bigger geometric shapes. I decided that the colors I would use here are the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. I hope you got some good ideas for how to use shape in your image, and I can't wait to see it.